Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Chris Capo. And today we are going to be going over and kind of reviewing the newest game mode to uh, Haybock MC or The Mining Dead as it's more well known. And today we are going to be looking at Mine Wars, which is in beta edition right now. And I think it's pretty cool right now, only donators can get on. And it's very fun. And there's quests, there's stormtroopers. So right now I'm in the Sith account. As a Sith, as you can see, they like you have level, and then that's the donor rank, and then that's like my name, and it's in red. And you have two, so if you're on Team Jedi, if like there's an area where you can change your team, and it doesn't remove all your levels from like the Sith and everything, all it does is like normal stuff. I'm gonna go back in a second. I just wanna see how close. Okay, I'm gonna finish this quest quickly. Come all the way back, but there are quests in this game, and it will send you to one area and kill rebels. Go get me some uh, mechanical rods or stabilizer ring, and then in order you get XP, and then with that XP you rank up, and with ranking up you get uh, ability tokens, and then with the ability tokens you buy power ups. It is pretty fun toy, and there's the force. You do a lot of cool stuff with the force. You can choke. You can bring lightning on them, you can push and you can pull, I think that is it, and I will try to demonstrate all of this very shortly, I'm just trying to, oh yeah, looting chest, let's talk about that, um, so in the chest you can get basically anything in the game, the best thing to get I would say in my mind is diamond coins, or getting a micro blaster, I'll be reviewing all this information to those who don't have donations, so they can like get a glimpse of what the game mode is going to be like. Because I think it's uh, very, really cool. A lot of people are saying great things about it. So you guys should be all be excited. So I heard some news from some staff. And it's planning on being out in about one and a half weeks. And two at the latest right now. Is like the planning. And they're expecting the, the weird siege thing. It's not weird I guess. But I don't know what it is. Conquest. And that's going to be out there too. Oh yeah, also a really cool thing with like change your lightsaber and you can get any of these and like let's say I want this thing and then you can like get two lightsabers and then like that and run with two. or you can like go like one normal or not. It's pretty like open to letting you create your own Jedi and have your own custom weapons and they're not all movies and everything. So okay good now I can go my HQ. Um, transferring systems are currently unbearable. pretty far away. I hope it's the spawn. Okay, well we're gonna be running all the way back. So there is a huge map, and if you use such map, you can see the map, and I think anyone, even non-donors, could see the map right now. So you guys can get a good gist of everything and what it looks like. The rebels have levels, so I'll explain that. And so if you're a jet, if you're a Sith, like I am right now, you kill rebels, and if you're a Jedi, you kill stormtroopers, and they both spawn in the same area. Uh, stormtroopers won't attack you, but you won't get XP if you kill them. You only get XP if you kill the opposite of what you are. Like, so Sith gets... You, you get the point. And so for the map layout, it's really big. But if you have your sword out, you get a uh, speed 2, which speeds everything up. But still not a lot. So if you double click, it's like combos, kind of like Mortal Kombat. Like that's pull. And then push. Oops. Pull again. Wait. Force choke. Here you go. That's pull. Push. But push again. Do that, okay. I'm still mastering this as you can see. Oh, uh, and you have energy at the bottom where your fall would be. And that like, does everything, so, uh. That's choking. And, uh, the other one's lightning, and I have not unlocked that yet. And so I don't want to die right now, so it's good. I'm just having one lightsaber. Um, so let's, uh, get rid of this thing. And I think, I think I'm going to try to use the dark one. The dark lightsaber. I don't know, it looks like a machete. And it's not even so so, so as you can see, these are your options for, uh, what's it called? If you're a Sith, these are the ones you get. 
Oh, I can use the red tea blade, but I guess I can use this. Um, and so, yeah. And then there's a bunch of guns. I, uh, have a lot of them here for you. The Q to reload, just like normal. And instead of, like, ammo, you don't need ammo at all. It automatically has ammo. And, like, every time you shoot it, it takes away a percentage. And then you can just reload with Q again. But you cannot reload if I, like, shoot one. If it's in that dark green, you can't reload it. Or in the light green. Wait, okay, well, late in the light green, you can. I was a little unclear on that, because I have, I've been playing a good amount, but it's not like a million times, or a million years. But, so basically, what we've learned, the best gun in the game is the Tuscan, it one-shots all humans. The Tuscan Slicler is the name of the gun, it's a one-shot per, like, clip, and then you have to reload it, and you get it from killing Tuscan Raiders. In the Jawa Trading Center area, or the Tuscan, or the pod racing area, where the Tuscans are in the pod racing area. But Tuscans will do a lot of damage to you, so you do want to run. And so the best area is to train in this, like the game, game levels. There's an area at your base, which everyone's going to use a lot. And there's level 3, and you get uh, like 8 XP or 10 XP per thing. But what you really want to do is get like, a truce with the enemy. And then you can go to their base and train on level 25 of the enemy. And now, they will one-shot you, but make sure you have full energy so you can do a lot of deflecting. And if you seem that you're under 10 deflecting, just you have to get out of there. But if you squiggle enough, they'll just keep missing. So, that's uh, something to keep out for. Uh, whenever you're running from town to town, make sure you always have your lightsaber out because of the speed 2. For guns, if you don't have access to a Tuscan Cycler, or your Tuscan Cycler is reloading, then you should have a Micro Blaster. Micro Blaster has insane fire rate, low damage, uh, low accuracy, but not that low, but very low damage. It's always good, and if you see that sniper in the fifth bar in my thing, it's pretty good too. It's a Mandalorian sniper. It's pretty cool. It's uh, just like a normal sniper. They all have the same scope except for a few of them. Yeah, some just have normal, but then, like, all these, like, pistol things, they have the, like, sniper scope. And so, once you get back to the base, I'll be able to explain much more about this. Oh, yeah, double jump. You If you jump once, and then you jump again in midair, you do, like, a double jump, and it takes away 30 energy. Um, there was something else cool you could do that take, take away, like, 20 energy or something. And eh, why can't I think of it? Hmm. Oh, uh, here you go, watch this. Oops, I need 40 energy for this ability. So, it's really overpowered, as what I've seen is it one-shots most of the, uh, enemy. But it doesn't always. Like it, 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 it looks pretty cool. I'll do it again, so you guys can see a better angle instead of it high. It'll look like on your screen. You do lose your speed, too, but that's okay if you're in, like, PvP combat or whatever. And, uh, maybe? Does this work again? Mo's, uh, so we were at Mo's Antique, or Mo's Antique, and the, in the middle of the two bases, so there's two bases on the two outsides, and in the middle there's Mo's Isley, which is where Han Solo uh, shot Greedo or something, and that's like a big scene because when people want to know who shot first or something like that, I'm not big into the Star Wars series, and where am I? Where where did I go? Uh, alrighty, so, uh, um... Hmm. Uh, I I have absolutely no clue where I am. Um, uh, I just check my coordinates quickly and check with the map. So 553 negative 134. Uh, 144 Ah, uh, I think I went the wrong, but there's a big wall here. <laughs> oh, it's the most antique wall. Oh my gosh, I made a circle. I'm an idiot. I'm back at most antique through the other side. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm just going to go inside here because I'm an idiot and I made a circle and I forgot to keep going. <laughs> ah, man. So Still wishing the HQ would just work. Because that's the command to go back to your base. 
and it does it instantly unless there's enemies in the air, enemies like in Rebels, but enemies in like Jedi's, like other Jedi's, like people, and that'll make it. So I'm gonna try to get back here. Sorry for the inefficiency. Uh, I didn't really plan this video out. I basically joined and started filming because I got excited to make the video. Because this is just such a cool game mode. And so there's no armor. I think there's this thing and this like a stick. And there was going to be grenades. They're not done yet. And here's coins. And you use these coins to buy guns. And buy things like this and this to complete quests. And it's pretty cool. Okay, so back back to the training idea. So you want to train at your enemy's base and get a truce with them. So they let you farm there. And if that doesn't work, you can always go to level 15 Jedi's, like Ben Kenobi's house, or Darth Hideous, or Darth Sidious, or Darth... It was something weird. It wasn't like... It wasn't like Emperor Palpatine. It was something... Darth something. And it wasn't Vader. Don't worry, I'm not that dumb. So, and it was like Darth Nidious or something. And it was his. He's level 15. Uh, troopers guarding his base. Both pretty cool. And I don't know about the Darth Nidious one because I've never been there. But for the Ben Kenobi one, there actually is an NPC of Ben Kenobi. You cannot kill it and it cannot kill you. It does not move. But it's pretty cool. And I, the accuracy in this uh, game is pretty pretty exact in my opinion. You guys can see for yourself. I never actually saw the most Isley Canteen. Which is where like a, lo a good amount of scenes took place. But the Millennium Falcon seems to be loaded with detail. I haven't really gone looking for detail for detail but if you ask me I would say it's been detailed and I'm gonna check the map again to make sure I am not running off where is this like weird indent okay I know where I am and I need to run wait one sec I'm so sorry about this okay I need to run this way alright we are on the right path for the first time in the video Give it up for me. So as you can see, there's someone else, and I don't know what level he is. So, I guess I can't, but... So, once you're level 5, you're allowed to PvP, and under level 5, in soon, I don't think it's an option yet, soon you will be able to uh, choose that PvP or not, or, or not, or what, when you are level 5, so you can, like, change it. If you're under level 5, so you don't get killed by, like, some pros who are level 100. Which is the highest level as of now. And XP is really hard to come by. So don't feel bad if it takes you too long to get to level 5. Because it took me a good amount of time too. So before I show you the inside of the base. Can we do HQ now? Just wondering. Okay so I think HQ is broken. But that's why it's in beta still. So it's all good. Over here there's a thing. A bunch of these things all over the place. So there's that guy. Um. So this is the area I'm talking about, where you get these level 3 it's really easy to get, and it's, it's a good area to train if you're trying to get to level 5, and you can just sit here, and just farm a bunch of kills on these guys, and to the left, you just hit, like, right click, and it's for you, and it's like, it's like a level so if you go over, if you want to, like, throw it one way, and then you go over here, it'll hit, like, the person from a different direction. So it won't necessarily go straight and come right back. And, oh, uh, I'm trying to think of more things to talk about. This pretty, pretty cool game mode. The XP system's a little glitched out. It looks like they're fixing it more. And here's where you get the change. Uh, it looks like Bounty is coming soon, which is what I'm assuming. And I don't know what this is going to be, but I feel like it might be clones. Um, over here, this is where you get NPCs. And... You get all this stuff, and then over here, so now he can PvP now if he wants, and over here, there's Darth Vader, usually the skins are, oh, there it is, and then you can turn it in, and then you get a lot of XP, <laughs> progress here, so I'm about 50% way through level 10, you can see my upgrades, there's some skins where you can turn into like this thing, uh, um, wait, I so you can see them all, because I think it's pretty, uh, oh, I can't become a Gungan. Okay, but I like normal me. There's more options I think that I I haven't unlocked any of these I guess. I don't know how to, so um F five. Uh so yeah, so this is the base. It looks pretty cool. All you guys who have don't have access to it, 
I really suggest you buy the cheapest donor rank to get access to it because this is oh. fun and I think you guys will all enjoy this. So now we're gonna go to a Jedi account and actually, oh, someone I think I just picked up a lot of stuff. Oh wait, actually wait, I'm gonna get my money for the set. I mean, do so. deposit all. So I deposit all my money in my cosmic credits. That wasn't that much, but that's okay. Because oh. it's something. Alright, so now, yeah, your account switches, and I'm going to pause all these two. And so, the force is the same, the guns are all the same. I don't have a Tus Tuscan Cycler with me to show you, because they are somewhat rare, and you have to go way out of your way to get them. Um, and today, and, and not today, and the MVPs at the Jedi's are that, and, uh, where's Han Solo, Han Solo, or whatever, there he is. And then, so, um... I wasn't planning on already accepting the thing. Okay, I'll show you how to do it. So it gives you like this, and then it's going to say, oh, go there, and then you could do it. And so now I can go there, and I can have the quest and all. There's a little type that you cannot enter this. And yeah, so this is the Jedi base. The Jedi have much more options. Like, you can wear a toga. It's the only one I guess I have right now. Um, a mask. You can wear a bloody stormtrooper or whatever. Um, and the skins, they're all the same, except for now you can be a Doth, Dothamirian, or a Togruta, and these two. So it seems like you would want to level up your Jedi much more, because of all the cool abilities you have, and plus the lightsabers, there's much more colors. And I really wanted to use orange, but I guess I couldn't, so I guess I'm sticking with purple. Well, I can't get green. Uh, lightsaber is unlocked at level green. I don't even know what that is. Um, so I'm gonna stick with my purple lightsaber. And as you can see, uh, here's the level 25 rebels guarding my base. No, these are level 5s. But they are 25s, trust me. If I looked around, whenever an enemy comes, a bunch spawn in. Oh, these guys are probably 25s. Uh, no. Oh, what's the 20? There we go. Eat on this. They will one shot you. So just be cautious when fighting them. And they do fire at a decent rate. Not they slow, but fast enough that you can't hit them a hundred times. And so we're gonna go over here, and we are gonna go to the base. And yeah. So here, and you have the Star Wars, and this is where you rank up the Jedi. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was explanatory enough, and if I I would be more than happy to answer them. Video on mine was in like training or like stuff because when this comes out, you're gonna be wanting to be the first one to level up high so you can get all the new once they hit level five and you want to. I can help you out. I have experience in this game. Suck at PvP. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and how I can improve my videos and subscribe. You uh to all subscribe. Uh, some guys and they successfully did the entire but I had to uh, change a bunch of things and find me back on the line. A lot of it, they hacked my face. I think they hacked my Everything's back now. I lost all my passwords, a bunch of and now it is all Yeah, so everything can be hacked. Anything can be hacked. Stick by me. Description or something. The last guy hacked it. That is not me. Clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.